For many of us, our smartphones hold some pretty sensitive information. But what happens when you hit delete? Where does that information actually go? Turns out it may still live in the phone. And the recent debate between Apple and the government regarding the unlocking of cell phones raises some questions, like who, if anyone, has the right to unlock your cell's secrets? Andrea Day has the story. There's actually a treasure trove of information. Where you go, what you like, and how you sleep. And often, this data lives in places on the device that, that the owner can't see. And if a crime is committed, it can play a vital role in the investigation. We can recover that and create essentially a timeline of how the phone was used and where the person was. We were invited inside Strauss Friedberg's forensic lab, where former federal prosecutor James Aquilina heads up the firm's data recovery services. Their clients, law enforcement, and companies looking to collect sensitive data from smartphones, from old school to the latest models. The most complicated are the newer devices that have very, very large hard drives. As soon as the firm has the device, it's stored in here. It's called a Faraday box. It blocks the signals to the device so that, for example, it can't be uh, remotely wiped. The device can't connect to a Wi-Fi access point or even to a cellular tower. The next step is breaking into the device. Tools can sometimes circumvent passwords, but he says the newest iPhones and Android phones have security measures in place to prevent it. You may not be able to get past the lock code, or there might be parts of the phone that are so damaged that ordinary forensic tools won't allow you to get access to the information. So one of the technologies that we use uh, is, is chip off. To physically remove the chip from the board. This phone was totally submerged underwater. Completely submerged underwater. We were able to recover information off the chip that include all kinds of uh, information about the user. With an unlocked phone, the team hunts for data hidden deep inside, plugging into this high-tech tool, primarily used to download and analyze the info. Even though you've deleted the content, it's actually still there and the file system still can see it. Revealing information like texts, contacts, emails, photos, and more where you've navigated, where you've physically been, your sleep patterns, potentially your health. But even if they can't get any access to the phone. These devices are synced to so many places, whether it's the cloud or to a computer. Usually we can get to it somewhere else where we can find it replicated. Law enforcement can basically recreate a picture that's relevant to the crime that they're investigating. And while that data can be key to proving criminal activity, the debate about whether the government should have access at all still rages on. Meanwhile, vendors are adding more security features into their smartphones, making them even tougher to crack. I'm Andrea Day for Nightly Business Report.